Recording? Recording. Sweet. <coughs> and stick the shortcuts on. Right. So, short ish video in theory about doing a curved on off switch for a microphone. Uh, flat one, nice and straightforward. Let me just throw on wireframe overlays. Yay for hard ops. If you ain't by using hard ops and box cutter, can you afford it? Yes? Go and get it. Um, pretty simple, nice and sweet, nice and straight, all good. Curved, not so much. But of course, it's an oval, and even with the dice, you're basically doing long, thin polygons which no look attractive. Now, yeah, sure, you can go in here, whoop, especially if you pick the right object, and you can start, you know, cutting things to reduce it. I mean, I wouldn't use knife, actually. I'd just select to press J to join them. And, you know, you could do these and GG, pull these in, get a, you know, get something going on here to reduce the the length of the polygons. Realistically, you'd want to be doing it down the whole length. And even when you've done that, you, you've still got the issue of all of the the mess there. And you can see here, it's still ugly as sin. And that is because this is basically as might be given away by, you can see the empty. It's using a simple deform modifier. Let's drag that out so you can see. There. So, simple deform. Do a bend based on that. Said thing as rotate. Come on, select the damn thing, you stupid thing. That's based on that, which is rotated. If I take the rotation off that, not pretty. So. So you rotate that by 90, and that gives me the bend I want on there. But really, it's not ideal, because you start from flat. You've already put the boolean in. He's a messy. So the theory is, I'm going to attack it from a different angle, as it were. So let me just grab, if I can find it, my microphone. So, we'll take the microphone. I'm just going to copy that object. New general away. Christmas, thank you. There we are. So that's the mic as is, and it's a bit tiny actually. A bit small. No, it isn't. All right, so we'll just uh, RX90. I'm just going to slap the track and rotation on that. So let's work from here. Basically, what I would do quickly add in a loop cut, and take it up to roughly where I think the. Uh, no, no, is that turned off the? Oh, of course it will have done that. Mate. Turn off the shortcuts. Let's get that going again. And do a control B there. Like that. I'm just going to GG that. And let's say that that's going to be where the actual switch sits. GG that up a bit. This is just. And I'm just going to. Select these. I'll we'll say that that is going to be where our switch takes place. I'm going to be using hard ops, so don't curve extract. I'm just doing that because I want to. Basically, I want a curved object to work in. I'm going to. Stick them up, 
So solidify first, make sure it's even bevels. Yeah, yeah, sweet. So what I'm going to do is first of all, I'm going to subdivide them. So I've got more. And then I'm going to add a few loop cuts like that. Okay, maybe more than a few. And that really is going to be where I'm going to stick my text for my things. So let's come out of local. We'll hide that. And we'll add in a text. Text. Oh, that's big. <laughs> Scale. Ooh. There we go. Yeah, let's stick it up there. On. Gee, take that down there. Yeah. So about there. Like that. So actually scale it a bit more and make it centered just because, well, looks easier. Yeah, I'm going to go on the dy off the character space. It that's, that's a bit better. I prefer that. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to convert these first to t so control A visual geometry to mesh. You could keep copies of them, but I'm not going to bother. Limited dissolve. Now, I'm only doing this because I want nicer results, frankly. So, I'm going to just do that. Join those up. Join those up. I'm just preferring controlling these uh, okay please yourself You could see there, even though I was selecting them, it wasn't doing it. That's just an issue with text. You learn to live with it eventually. Is it ideal? No, it, it is not. But whatever. Now, if you actually, if I show this, you do that, and if you do a Control X, it gets rid of the verts. Alternatively, another way of doing it is just select the two polygons and hit F. And then you don't have to do the whole rubbish with the getting rid of the verts. And by the way, you only need a line like that, theoretically, where you've got a hole in it, so things like D's and A's and something like these really, I can. They're fine because there's no hole. You just need to join an edge where you've got a hole. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to in solidify because you know hard ops. So why why not use it when you've got it? Okie dokie. There's the text. Sharpen them. There you go, operations, sharpen, gz, bump. That's that one, that needs to go in further because of course it's tapered. Like that. So you can select that, select that, control minus. Select that, select that, control minus. Hide me cutters. Again, hard ops does all of this for you, so it's just. Frankly, it's just damn sight easier. Okay, I 
got so far with doing this video um, I'd put in the text there for the on and off and I was showing the shading um, and then I ended up going down a rabbit hole and not being able to fix the shading and the reason was I had not thought on initially and I had although I'd added geometry what I'd not done is I'd not smoothed it so I'm basically going to just duplicate this which is what I did you'll see it later on in the video and I'm just going to separate that and I'm just going to hide that and I'm just going to go in here take a these I don't doubt invert it and delete the faces uh, I'm just going to add a solidify which is basically just doing what I've done up to this point I'll just ramp the solidify down oh no offset zero thickness I wanted to adjust now come on coin oh oh one and it should be an offset minus one. That was a good start, wasn't it? Okay. So, anywho. So, I'd got to this stage and I had... subdivided. But what I'd not done is I'd not smoothed it. Now, that's because you'll see later when I normally subdivide it's with a complete circle and you can't use circle on this because it will go terribly wrong as you could see because we don't want a circle so what I should have done is I should have used mirror tools and C stretch I use the default 5 um, and this is just all shades of awesome so I just click on the C stretch tells me I've got five I can roll my mouse button there uh, mouse wheel rather click and you see a more basically sort of bezier's the, the points then right click so I'll select them click click right click and then now I've got a nice smooth thing for it to work on and then we can add in the loop cuts to give it enough to work with now once they're done technically speaking yeah you could get rid of some of these but seeing as we're going to be cutting the oval in later not so much so just select those two control minus select those two control minus and again as I've just said previously you see I'm getting something strange here I'm just going to GX with the hold and the shift and there it goes it disappears So, hide my cutters. And so, so we're back to where we bef were before. And you see I'm getting some interesting shading. Now that's not because this hasn't been applied. I can, I'm just going to duplicate that and I'm going to hide that one. I'm going to apply all here. And you can see it's still and just say, okay try let's merge any by distance and while it has cleaned some up you've still got the issue try normals it's not the normals what's going on the giveaway is actually this don't know if you can, I don't know if this is going to show up on the video but you can see the state of this here what this is I think is to do with the size of it because this is a normal size microphone so it's, it's small so if I scale this by 10 and apply the scale and then I go in you see I'm no longer getting those lines when I zoom right in unless I go to the point of sort of pushing the boundaries so it's just a display issue so if you see those lines while you're editing then it's probably to do with the scale of your object 
And what that also means is when you're editing at times, then <coughs> you can end up with uh, not being able to select things because it, it can't figure out what you're clicking on because of the, the scale of the issue. Um, and I should imagine the same holds true there for for if it's too large now. I'm going to have to go back here because that merge B. Oh, no, go back a few bit more. Merge B. And I'm going to change that. I'm going to drop that down another zero. Okay. Five. There. I don't want to get rid of too many. I wish you just you saw before. I was. I was losing. There. Now you see we're back where we were. You see the state of that F there. It's a right mass. So that suggests my scale. Yeah. So scale ten. Apply the scale. Go in. Let's go and look at that F again, shall we? Still a bit messy, but not as bad. But I found scaling up beyond that really doesn't make much difference. But you know, you can with me mouse button. You can see that that's just much better. When we zoom in there as well, it's it's clearer. So so I so thought we could work with that now. Just lining them up. You can, uh, if you've got machine tools, so you can use mesh machine rather, you can use the Boolean cleanup. If you haven't, then just set up your merge last to a shortcut key. So you, I've got it to a zero. Just hit the zeros and select two zero. It's a pretty quick process. That will speed up any sort of tidying up you've got going on here and I'd, I'd probably select these here and just do basically I'm just creating more geometry on the curve here might not be needed but don't do any harm and we're looking at them and we need to do a bit of work here oh And so that would be sort of one way of doing it. And like you just carry on sort of tidying up here, doing all the usual tidying up business. But I'm actually going to pause this here and we'll jump, if you like, ahead. And I'll show you where I actually took it from the whole. Uh, if we delete that. We took it from the whole turn round, the whole section, and uh, well, we're coming from there. So the key thing, really, I wanted to draw your attention to there was the use of mirror tools for smoothing. If you take part of a cylinder, and the scale issue when you're working on something that small, right? And we are sort of basically start from the beginning again now. Uh, going in and I'll basically be selecting that bit there. So watch this space. And I can stop this thing. So let's go back. And what we're going to do this time is we're going to select the whole thing. Even though we're only using part of it. Gonna hide that. I'm gonna go in here. Gonna give faces to these. The reason for which will be apparent in a second. And I'll just make them sharp. It's simply just for reasons. Right now I'm gonna do that and I am gonna subdivide. And once again it's ugly, but this time we're gonna pull in the loop two circles. So that's basically right mouse button loop two circles. Now that's smoother. 
and you can even go one further and let's subdivide again now that's really smooth now mum, -dum. let's waken up the cutters same thing control minus same thing control minus hide the cutters has not gone swimmingly and the reason for that is just positioning um let me just do 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 cavity both let's well ramp these mothers up there we go now if i select that and i just cheat and see it's just an ever so slight movement and there we are in fact let's turn on wireframe because that sure has got a lot to do with it that we were if I undo that yeah you see we're basically getting a hot line there so you could either move it that way or that way like that to avoid the hot lining this is going to be the same thing you can see we've got a hotline or have we got a likely hotline that looks like a guilty party doesn't it there we are let's hide the cutters ears are good wheels are happy get rid of the wireframe and I mean, take the notice of the shading. That's just because I've ramped up me uh, me cavity settings. If I take these back to one, won't look as bad. And let's take that bevel off as well. Actually, for the. Uh, gonna, Okay, then let's apply the bevels. Why not? Now let's add a bevel mod. Uh, not a bevel, sorry. Let's apply the. Oh, that's why I don't have a clamp overlap on. You think you're playing with that and you think, oh, what's going on with your bevel? Take your clamp overlap off. That's what's going on with your bevel. So, 0.1 millimeter too much. 0.05 millimeters. Still pretty unhappy. Let's try a weld, see what happens. Ooh. 0.0001. Nah, that's not pretty. High frame. Ah, oh, of course, you idiot. Angle do that helps. There you can see you've got crossovers here. Oh. Oh, well, let's go into point mode and let's do some tidying up. Definitely got some issues here. Do -do 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 -do. Well, that up. I'm gonna get rid of that. Boom. Okay, don't do that. Then. Well, them up. How are we going? Do you know? As a matter of fact, looking at that, I'm gonna join these up differently. I'm gonna join those two. I'm going to join those two and then I'm going to get rid of those edges. Now you see some of this could just simply be the size of the object because we're getting sort of into the boundaries of the view. I think it's just something to do with clipping. In fact, I, like, we could prove that 
If we scale this by 5, and then apply the scale, <laughs> and look, all those apparent issues have just vanished. So, if your object is a bit tiny, then first things first, just try ramping up the scale, because you might be swimming upstream when you don't have to. Uh, basically, I'm just doing a weld here. You could, I do have machine tools, and you could use that there. I don't know. I just I find this just as quick as using the machine tools. So, what the heck, eh? Okay. So, I mean, this will do as a testy. So, I'm not trying to be uber perfect here. There's more uh, proof of concept than anything. Uh, and let's take the wireframe off. How are we looking shading wise? It's not horrendous, is it, frankly? You know. Let's turn the bevel on. Now it's horrendous. <laughs> uh, now let's turn the wireframe back on and see what's going on with the bevel. Okay, that bevel is uber tiny. Now I'm going to make that a 60, and a, oh, segments 5. Okay, I think we can go, no, maybe not as much as that. Yeah, I'm digging that. Uh, you can see where the, the issues are coming with the shading, like, yikes. Turn off the visibility. I'm just going to get rid of that edge. Turn the visit a little bit, let it back on, and that, that solves that. i just push that out of the way a bit. Was that necessarily pleasing? No, probably not. Oh, if I did that, so that's still going to break it up. Oh, let's try that to a hack. No, oh, still doesn't help. Alright, so backtrack twice. Right, viewport visibility off. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a couple of knives actually. Just to, I just want things to solve a bit better in terms of the shading. So, I'll keep pressing J instead of K. Would help if I watch what my hand's doing on the keyboard. But where's the fun in that? And do the same again a couple of times because, you know, why not? Is this very efficient? Probably not. Will it work? I'll let you know once I turn the shading back on. Where's my mouse cursor? And I think I'm gonna add a loop cut there. Hang on. J there. I'm gonna cut through to the turn the wireframe off. Ah, I can live with that. That's that's Rather than the poke in the eye with a sharp stick, if you put visibility on, I can still live with that. Okay, we've got an issue here. Let's see what's going on here. Yeah, so the same thing. And uh, no, actually. because that is coming down in relation to the actual flow 
that not because I'm knifing that in theory yeah it's not so unattractive uh, what sort of let's take that down to 35 man on a flying horse wouldn't notice that would he I'll just power save it okay I'm gonna try quick sharpen on it and that helps enormously as I say if you ain't using hard ups you're doing it wrong now in theory then all I would do add myself in a cylinder I'll give myself something nice like 64 to play with in fact so I'll give myself 80 scale down Going to wireframe GY scale X I'm just going to extend these out. I'm using inset but I'm just holding control. So there we go. Let's take Z cylinder, scale Z. Actually G Z. Don't need to scale Z, we just need to G Z. I'm just going to position it where I think and we're happy I'm just going to sharpen that and then I'm just going to do boolean and I'm actually going to do a slash so that would be the inner and outer and then again usual thing you just got to do your clean up then so apply that and apply that. Again, you're just doing a bit of clean up. Now here I might actually try the boolean clean up if I can remember where it would go. You've got a couple of issues here where it's super close. If I select that and you can see how close that is. That's just too close. So when it's too close, edge slide is your friend. Well, it's my friend, certainly. Saved my butt more than once. Same there, bit bump. Here we go. Now I've seen videos with Ryu and uh, Master Z on where they would very nicely build a, an edge loop round here. And you could do that if you wanted to take the time. I don't want to take the time because I am notoriously lazy. I'm just going to join those two together and then just slide it back a bit. I'm going to take that one down. Take that down. How's that look? Not so bad. I'll just get rid of those sharp loops. Get rid of these for being sharp. Likewise, up there. There we are. Okay. Okay, let's try this one now. So, three. Boundary loop to select them. Why boolean clean up? Again, it's got some issues here where we're super close for some. Yeah, you've got two. Let's turn the viewport visible. See off. You've got 
many points there. You can also sell if you've got more, because the boolean will tidy up. Do, do, do. Same thing. And I'm going to go, where are we? Oh, yeah. Don't really need to pull that one out, but you know. Why not? How are we doing around here? Are we good? Are we happy? Oh, these guys need to come out. You might risk deleting that edge. I'm not going to risk it personally. They are those your your curve text. If we bump and <laughs> how random oh, let's just delete that I'm not interested in that for now and yeah we don't want any of this rubbish let's get rid of those there we go same there There we are. No, 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 I've got to do that. And actually, I'm going to delete that and then sort it. Let's make that black and slightly paler. There we go. So, yeah, we've still got a couple of issues there. But let's try a sharpen, shall we? And, oh, that made think life a bit easier, didn't it? A little bit of an issue there, which you could do with tidying up. But, what happens if we join them? Actually, it looks worse. What happens if we get rid of those edges? And those edges. And that edge. Frankly, it looks a lot better. There you go. So there is a warts and all method of doing it. So obviously you'd imagine that was your mic body. And that's there, I suppose you you could at this point add in oh, scale point of one. She's ahead. G Y scale Y. I'm oh, just imagining this is the cutout for the actual switch. And we are going control minus. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take said cube. I'm going to copy it. I can never find out where there is our oh, shade solid scale Y GY hide the cutters. Oh, I need to move that out of the cutters. Move that into the work zone. Now hide the cutters. Get the same material. And bevel it. There we are. That would be our switch GY. Move it up like that. GZ, push it down. Doesn't really matter if it cuts into the body. Yeah. I'm going to apply the scale on that. I'm going to control level. I'm going to take these here. GZ. Oh. Duh. Didn't want to do that at all. Wanted to take the others. E. And we'll have 
nice loop cut there to make sure that shading doesn't go too manky. And the bevel on that needs to be reduced. Thus. There you are. Or mic switch. And that's it. That does that have a bevel? It does. Is it at an angle? It is. Can we push our look? We can. I see, and I'm getting a bit of a crossover there. So let's have a nose. Getting a bit of a crossover here for some reason, and that's why. Do it. Oh, no more crossover. Check the other one. That is good. <laughs> there we go. Job is, as they say, a good one. Take the. And that would be a way of doing it. I have no idea how long this video has gone on. But, I say you're seeing warts and all, so you're seeing various ways of coming at it and various ways of fixing it. And, let's get the overlays back on. Ah, uh, yeah, that's why we've still got an issue there. Let's apply that Boolean. And,. There we go. Now again you see there you've got some edges you could probably do with. I'm going to select these, GG, move them out a bit. Same thing there, GG, move them out a bit. There we go. So there it is. And that looks reasonable, frankly. And I'm done. Goodbye.